Have you ever wondered how temperature affects adsorption? If you're scratching your head and asking what's adsorption, don't worry, we're here to clarify. Adsorption is a surface phenomenon where particles, be they gas or liquid, accumulate on a surface rather than in the bulk of a solid or liquid. Think of it as particles preferring to hang out on the skin of a material rather than diving deep into its body. Now, adsorption isn't some obscure scientific concept. It's happening all around us, from water filtration systems that clean our drinking water, to gas masks that protect us from harmful pollutants, even in your refrigerator, helping to keep your food fresh. But, here's the thing. The rate and extent of this adsorption can change based on several factors, and one of the most influential is temperature. Now that we understand what adsorption is, it's time to dive into how temperature plays a role in this process. So, how exactly does temperature affect adsorption? Well, to answer that, we first need to understand that there are two main types of adsorption, physical and chemical. Physical adsorption, also known as physisorption, involves weak van der Waals forces. This type of adsorption is exothermic, which means it releases heat. So, what happens when we crank up the temperature? As it turns out, increasing temperature leads to a decrease in physical adsorption. Why? Well, the answer lies in the nature of the process. When we heat things up, the adsorbent molecules gain kinetic energy, which can overcome the weak forces holding them to the surface, leading to desorption. Now let's talk about chemical adsorption or chemisorption. This type involves stronger chemical bonds. In chemisorption, an initial increase in temperature can actually promote adsorption. You see, there's an energy barrier for the reaction to occur, and a little heat can provide the necessary push to overcome this barrier. However, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. After reaching a certain point, further increases in temperature start to decrease adsorption. This happens because excessive heat can break the chemical bonds between the adsorbent and the adsorbent. So, as you can see, temperature can either increase or decrease adsorption, depending on the type of adsorption and the specific conditions. Understanding how temperature affects adsorption isn't just theoretical, it has real-world implications. This knowledge underpins key processes we rely on daily, such as water filtration and air purification. For instance, the efficiency of activated carbon in water filters is largely dependent on temperature. At higher temperatures, more contaminants are adsorbed, providing cleaner water. Similarly, the effectiveness of air purifiers in trapping pollutants and allergens is also temperature-dependent. A better understanding of the temperature adsorption relationship can help optimize these devices, ensuring the air we breathe is as clean as possible. Moving beyond environmental applications, this concept is also crucial in the medical field. In drug delivery, for instance, the release rate of medications from adsorbent materials can be controlled by manipulating temperature. This allows for more targeted and efficient treatment strategies, improving patient outcomes. Moreover, this understanding is fundamental in designing more efficient and effective products. From industrial gas masks that protect workers from harmful gases to adsorption chillers that provide eco-friendly cooling, temperature's role in adsorption is pivotal. So, in summary, temperature plays a crucial role in adsorption, affecting the rate and extent of this process. Whether it's purifying water, protecting against harmful gases, or delivering drugs in our bodies, understanding this relationship can lead to significant improvements in many areas of our lives. So, the next time you see a gas mask or a water filter, remember, there's a lot of cool chemistry behind it.